G'day guys, Mitch and Ben. Well, uh, I, was oh, say, I, <laughs> I was about to say World Cup Tree Company for some reason. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Bottled it straight away. <laughs> Today, mate. <laughs> G'day guys, it's Mitch and Ben. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. Oh, but... It's good. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> Redo it, reset. <laughs> Fucking Fuckin hit the reset button. <laughs> G'day guys. <laughs> G'day guys, Bitch and Benny from Epic Oz Adventures. Yeah, Bitch and Ben. <laughs> did, did, did I really say Bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <worry. laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no swearing. <laughs> you, you, you're the one that's all. That's huge. Uh, we've had a deluge of rain. Just look, this one? No. No, yeah, no, he was, it's yes, not Kel's no. Yeah, Kel's Creek Road, then go on to um, camp, give a lot of it to me a bit. Are you 100% sure? Yeah, this will work. Okay. We're going out this road to go <laughs> to some tracks. <laughs> when do you get a proper intro, but. <laughs> okay, we're going to drive the tracks. <clears throat> and we're going to start this again. <sighs> that, that's too cute. Uh, I'm just gonna read. G'day guys, Mitch and Ben, Epic Oz Adventures. What are we doing today, Ben? I'm trying to compose myself. Trying to compose yourself. <laughs> so, we had like we had like 200 mils of rain in the last 24 hours. Was it 200 mils? Oh, it was a lot, man. It was a lot of bloody rain. It was a lot so, of bloody rain. We are uh, gonna go plant some mud. Anyway, so not far from where we live, there's a, a section of. Um, not, not real technical four-wheel drive tracks. Secret tracks. But it's very well known in the area to be very, very muddy after a big deluge like we had last night or over the, the last 24 hours. So we've taken Ben's 80 out and, well, hopefully we don't get stuck anywhere because we've only got the one vehicle. We're oh, we stuck. do have a winch though, don't we? Yeah, but we're getting stuck. Anyway, we're going to have some fun. We're going to get real muddy. We're going to get real dirty. We're going to get some really cool footage. Mitch and is going to get all of those things. I'm going to sit in the car. Yeah, well, either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I hope you guys enjoy because I'm, I'm pumped. This is going to be mint. What do you reckon? Fourth in Project 10. Local area, known really well. We know where we are. I, I, I haven't been out this area since I was probably 16 or 17. Yeah, same. Yeah. For those watching at home, 16, 17 for me would be... About 16, 17 years ago. Well, not quite. Probably like 15, 16, 17 years ago. <laughs> I'm not old, you're old! You're not old, <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shit. What does, um, just out of interest, I want to see what HEMA shows here. Oh, actually, dude. We've got the whole day because it's early. We could go out Wombian Caves and do a <coughs> fucking dope track. If we keep going out Wombian Caves Road. Yeah, there's um, heaps of shit out there. It's, no, no, I know the exact one I'm thinking of. This one, the Newfoundland track. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Well, let's check. The other section first. Yep. <clears throat> and if not, we'll go to the Newfoundland track. Yeah. But yeah, like you look at this. Yep. yep. So, so you guessed it. Yeah. Every single track that we went and looked at, shut. Nothing in our area is open. Everything's been closed. So we decided off to the Newfoundland track. And boy, wow. What's ahead? We never would have expected it. You turn the front screen off. Yeah, you turn the front screen off. Did I? Yeah. So, last weekend, drove all the way to the Big High Country, and we got this 20 minutes around our backyard. <laughs> Where are we, by the way? How good is this? Uh, Wall and Dilly National Park. It's one of the Jalor lookouts, I assume. No, no, no. Jalor's over there. So, like, oh, right. past over here, and then this, this side, over to that way, is all Wall and Dilly. Yeah. So. <laughs> Even this is what we're going to be getting into. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> Bloody awesome. So, what we were looking at was Natai National Park from the Wallandilly Lookout. And where we were headed was Gula Nugura National Park. So, uh, 
yeah, geographical knowledge between the two of us. About as good as our camera skills. Anyway, this is the trip down there. probably some of the wildest scenes I've ever seen out in this area. Like, this is just absolutely bonkers. Like, have a look at this. This river is usually about 20 meters wide if that uh, the amount of rain we've had I just hope that no one's in trouble no one's having any issues but this is wild man it's totally wild you ever seen anything like this Mitch this, this is blowing my mind honestly it's like <clears throat> northern New South Wales South Queensland when those areas flood you know which is almost a yearly occurrence for them it's it's really difficult to sort of comprehend the, the, the levels of water they get up there. I've personally never seen anything like this. And like obviously, you know, creeks, they get deeper when there's heavy rainfall, but you can't even see where the road is. And the most scary part about this is it's, it's not just a matter of trying to guess where the road is, but the water's moving so rapidly and so quickly that the minute the minute you get any buoyancy in the vehicle, you are just going to get washed downstream straight away. So oh, this it's is way why, too deep. You never yeah, go in there. Never go this, in there. This is why that all the state emergency services and you know all those kinds of authorities tell you when it's flooded, do not try to drive through any flood waters. It is just, just so dangerous. I was just saying this. This is usually like 20 meters wide. Mm. This river. Then you just drive, there's a bridge under there. Somewhere. Yeah, like, it's just wild, man. Totally wild. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a good shot of that. No, I'm not. What? Ugh, big hole! Ah! It's fine, mate. Coils all around, don't um, worry about it. So, what have we achieved at uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, mate? Well, we found a track. We found, <laughs> a track. found a track. So let's get into it and we'll show you what we've got. <laughs>
What do you reckon of that one? Yeah. But mate, did the water go? Jesus Christ. <laughs> when he drove through it, the water came straight out. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> My boots are so wet. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I think you'll tip unless you come back a little bit and go at a different angle Toe balls in the dirt, but you should be able to. Yeah. Just go slow. Just go straight in the side there. Yeah, and just turn it on and check its battery level. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. So, in flood scenarios, the SES and the government bodies always tell you not to try and drive through flood waters. Ben's decided he wants to try and walk into it to test how strong the current over the bridge actually is. And it kind of looks like he's struggling a little bit. Please don't try this at home, kids. waist deep the whole way so, so the depth isn't really the issue here it's, it's, current. it's the current yeah as soon as we sort of get as far in as as ben was just standing the water level is around the bottom sort of pp height <laughs> a bit around the door of the car or the door of the vehicle and with that kind of current the water pushing against the vehicle is very very easy for us to get swept in and we don't want that we definitely don't want that so i'm gonna, so I'm gonna try one more time Who's going to send it? It's a bridge. I understand how bridges work. Yeah, it's like we're hard bottom the whole way. Yeah, there's no way. Like, you, you're already at the bonnet height. That's wild. Sliders, the wheels are fully submerged. This is so dumb. Go back, maybe? It's literally pushing so I can feel it. check it because I just really wanted to get across it and depth depth isn't the issue wasn't the issue it's the power of the water coming across I just had to step back for a second and just go if it's flooded forget it so now I've got it and I'm driving along in my underpants it was soaking wet after checking the depth and we made the right decision um, and as you can see from the footage it was a really cool experience, but definitely uh, not advisable to try and be driving through conditions like that. Yeah, like we, we don't um, know, we don't know what the state of the bridge is like underneath. I mean, like we know the bridge, we've been across the bridge heaps of times. It's like, we survive every single flood, like it's concrete. It's a super, super strong bridge, but we don't know the full conditions of the bridge. It could be a part of the bridge that's washed away and then all of a sudden, you know, the front of the car dips down, boom, we're gone. So that was the prime example of me just wanting something too much and overlooking the risks before really pulling the reins in and going, nah, this is dumb, stop. And that's what gets people into trouble. Exactly what we just did is what gets people into trouble. Yeah. In all, in all honesty, we probably 
pushing it a little bit too far, even with what we did do. I agree. But um, yeah, definitely, if you find yourself in a situation like that where you're thinking about driving through through uh, floodwaters, just don't do it. Yeah, it's the, just it's not power, worth it. The power of the water is too much. Obviously, you guys do water crossings, all that sort of stuff in still water. You know, check the depth. You know how it works. That's fine. But floodwaters, totally different story. Different ball game altogether. It's flooded. Forget it. <coughs> I nearly just sucked on the tire gauge. <laughs> Health. Hey guys, we're a new channel, so we'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. And please leave a comment from Bubba. <laughs> leave a comment if you like our content.